Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics and Customs. Uh, getting back into the swing of things now after the uh, Kiwi's Big Adventure, picking up Large Marge. So yeah, back to the, the, the real work. So, and the Cougar, we've got to make uh, a transmission tunnel for it. And you saw the last video on this one. Uh, we, you know, we cut a whole lot of stuff out, a whole lot of sheet metal out to fix, fit this giant transmission in. So like, this is the original tunnel, that had to go. So, you know, that's, uh, that's out of here. Um, we've got to start from scratch. So, uh, quite a bit of fabrication, quite a bit of welding. Uh, I'm going to dive in and show you the process. So, let's go. Um, obviously, this has got to be covered in. Done a little bit of work, you know, final welding this floor section in on this side. Uh, so now it's time to start creating, which, you know, I've been doing. Uh, and it's really a matter of making a, a cardboard template. This is going to be the first stage of the tunnel, which is kind of going to fit in like that. Um, kind of like a collar for that. And then the rest of the tunnel will come back more horizontal through here. So I've kind of rough made a, a cardboard. Just get yourself a decent piece of cardboard and, you know, just hold it up in there. You just trim and you mark and make it happen. Now I've transferred that to some sheet metal. I've been busy. Uh, transferred that to some sheet metal. Uh, bead rolled a little flange around here that will go up and butt up to the firewall. So it's a nice point to weld at. That just kind of makes it easy. And we can also run around here. That's why I've got this shape using the shrinker stretcher to kind of help it hold this round shape. So the template, this is going to go here. So let's tuck in there. It's going to fit about there. But this is a it's a process of just working at it, like just shape it a little bit, take it out, trim it, shape it, trim it, shape it. And what I want to do here on this edge, this is a little bit close to the transmission. So what I'm going to do is bend this and see a little sharpie line around here. I'm going to bend that up, and that's going to give us a nice ledge to actually push you know, push this part of the tunnel down onto and just give us another half an inch of height. Uh, so yeah, let's head over to the roller and uh, if we can't do that. Okay, all right. So this is, these particular rollers, it's a little thin steel one, and this is kind of almost like a roller skate wheel, and that allows you to kind of make an edge like that, and you can follow a curve. Uh, it's quite a neat little setup. Right, let's, uh... And then it's just a matter of following your line. It's just a little test of your hand-eye coordination because you've got to be moving this and winding this and watching the line. And, uh, yeah, it can be a little challenging, but, you know, a little bit of practice and away you go. Ooh, we're running out of room. And that, I'm not sure how well that's showing up. That's started to bend that up and it gives us a start, um, like a starting point. So what I'm going to do is just run that through again. As we get to the top of the hump, we want a little bit more. So I'm just going to wind it in a little bit here. Give it a little bit more pressure. And I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Keep a little bit of upwards pressure and just do that over the top of the hump. fraction it should get us most of what we want yeah, really. 
what, how you can see that angle. Let's see how now it's coming. This this is vertical, sits on the firewall. This comes down, and then I wanted this horizontal. So we're pretty close here. I'm going to just hammer that up a little bit, make it a little more consistent, uh, which really is kind of as easy as just. to make it a nice radius for the top of that tunnel to sit on. We've kind of got a little funky bit here at the end of the roll. So that's really a matter of just uh, hammering that a little bit. And so that we've got a fairly, fairly consistent When you look around that line, it's it's fairly consistent now. So let's try it back in and see what it looks like. sit about there and that's the beginning of our tunnel just got to get in there with a the mig now welder in and then we'll carry on back to here and then there'll be another level coming down here we've got to lift this part of the tunnel a little bit but yeah we've got a nice bit of room up the sides uh, we've got clearance under the top of the transmission I don't want to want to keep it as low as I can we don't want this huge clump in the middle of the car so uh, that has this room and um, we've got good room up the front here to get to the housing bolts that kind of thing uh, so yeah i'm pretty happy with that uh, right well i'm going to start uh, burning this thing in um, you don't need to watch a video of mig welding going on but yeah that's kind of a quick run through of how you know the first stage of this uh, transmission tunnel. So I think that's going to look pretty slick once it's all burned in. Obviously we've got to fill the big hole in the firewall where we flatten that out and gain some room. But yeah, it's all uh, it's uh, small steps and you get there. Alright guys, well you have a good night and uh, I'm going to start welding and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.